My friend Maggie here might have the beginnings of separation anxiety. The guardian will leave her with a bully stick or things when she leaves and comes back, the bully stick hasn't been chewed on. So one of the ways that I like to accomplish this is rules and, and boundaries, which we've already gone over. But I also like to teach the dog how to stay. Now most people teach the dog to stay poorly. They let the dog auto-release. The dog can release itself. Um, so this, I'm gonna go through the technique that I like to use. I break it into three segments. The first one is duration. Second stage is distance. Third stage is distraction. I'm just gonna go through duration here in this video. I will have underneath this on my website a link to the YouTube video that teaches where I got this from. So if you're not watching this on doggoneproblems.com, you should go to doggoneproblems.com. All right, so I like to have the dog in a sit, but it can be sit, laying down, or whatever. I'm gonna have a handful of treats here, or one treat in this hand, and I'm gonna give her a stop sign. I'm gonna use three fingers up, because I'm gonna hold the treat. I'm gonna say the word stay. So at first I'm just gonna do five seconds. So I put the other hand with all the treats behind my back. Stay. Stay. I don't care if she gets up or down. You can be particular about it if you want, but not at this stage. <coughs> Stay. Stay. Seven seconds. This one will be 10 seconds. Stay. 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 Fifteen seconds. The mistake a lot of people make is they go five seconds, ten seconds, and thirty. It's too big of a jump. So keep on going short iterations. Now, if your dog starts to get up, I might lure them and then go back just to keep them from getting moving around. I don't care if they get up or sit down. I just don't want them to move away. Now, the idea is we're going to go uh, by whatever iteration your dog needs to until we get up to the point where the dog is staying in front of you for like five minutes. That's a long time to sit around just looking at you. We have to do it for short little steps uh, each time, increasing it a little bit each time. If we take too big, if your dog starts losing interest, then back up to the step you were at and practice that one two or three times in a row until your dog stays there consistently. Now, um, I talked a little bit off camera about we don't want to train our dogs for training for longer than about two minutes maximum for each iteration. But when it's this one, because we're trying to get up to five minutes, it's going to go longer than that. So in this case, we're uh, when we do this, always. Uh, oh, a couple other things. Uh, when we get to the five minutes, it's fine because it's pretty easy and the dog's just sitting here. But afterwards, when we get done, so stay, stay, break. And then I would get up and move away. So the dog can't auto-release after you end it each time. Make sure you say break or free or release or whatever freedom, whatever your command word is. But the dog can't release itself. It has to stay there. Now by working it gradually, the first couple of times I would grab maybe about 10 or 15 treats and just do five seconds, 10 seconds, 15. The next time you might be able to go 10, 20, 30. The next time you might go 15, 30, 45. Sometimes you have to back up though. You were like at 20, 40, 60 and the next time you do it, the dog's not very good. Maybe you go back to the five and vary it up. But you wanna to get to the point where you can take bigger and bigger steps and the dog will stay there longer and longer looking at you. And I don't care if they don't, if they look away because eventually we're gonna move outside of the room and they're gonna to have to stay and they won't be able to see us anyways. So you wanna keep on practicing for duration. And the, the, not ironic, but the funny thing is, when you do it for duration, after a while, you'll be able to get a little distance even though you haven't practiced it yet. Stay, and you walk away and come back, break. The idea is, for a dog with separation anxiety, the beginnings of it, we wanna put them in a stay while we go get a drink of water or go get ourselves a, make ourselves a sandwich. So we come back and we release the dog. We go to the bathroom. We go to answer the door, whatever it is. So this way we can give our dog a command for a very short period of time and practice it in real world scenarios. To the point where now when the dog cats are playing and having a good time, we can tell the dog to stay and she has to stay amongst distractions and even at a distance, even if you leave the room. This is one of those things where it's best to practice this multiple times a day. I would like to see you practicing it three to five times a day. But again, the maximum you're gonna be practicing is five minutes in the first several times it's going to be 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 50 seconds, whatever it is. But get to the point where this helps your dog learn that just because the cat's running around doesn't mean I can go chase them. Just because somebody's at the door doesn't mean I can go jump up on them. I'm developing self-control. Sit, see if we can get a crash out of you. Crash. 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 Nope, we still need more practice on that. Crash.
crash. We over to the crash about 10 minutes ago. If we just started, uh, she already knows how to crash with a hand signal, just not with the verbal only. That's why I wasn't trying to do too much. But the great thing about her, she is a smart, she's an intelligent dog. So it's, I think we just weren't probably reaching her in the right way. And I think more than anything else, she was overexcited a lot. And I think the last trainer probably, no, the trainer didn't recognize that that was a problem. And so you had to dial down that. We have to get the behavior in line before we can actually do much training. Otherwise, you know, just like working with kids, you can't reach a kid if he's bouncing off the walls with, due to a sugar high. All right, so this is uh, how we teach our dog to stay.